Hi everyone and good afternoon. Oh my goodness. So I'm so sorry but my vlog obviously I'm starting to get a little bit late. I feel like I haven't gotten into the zone of vlogging. Oh my goodness that is a very bad thing. So today is Saturday and it is the 10th of July already. I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh by the way if my accent changes it's because I've been watching so much Love Island. <laughs> Sometimes their accents like they rub off me eye. <laughs> Who's watching Love Island? Oh my goodness, I'm watching the UK one and the US one as well because there's the US one. But now I don't have any Love Island episodes to watch until Monday. So that's good. That's very good actually. I need I need a break <laughs> from watching all these hotties basically go around in their bikinis and drinking and just chatting and just having the summer of their lives basically. But it's, it's cool. I like it. I really like it. We can talk about it later. But basically, I wanted to introduce the vlog for this weekend. My name is Kezia, and this is my corner. I post every single Wednesdays and Fridays. However, actually, I need to change that because I am going to be doing something new in my routine, which involves a part-time job, which I will be working on Friday, which means the Friday upload I need to change it so I don't know what's gonna happen. I would love to hear your feedback if you enjoy my two videos a week of makeup videos and then my vlog on Sundays. I would love to get your feedback. So if you have any, just comment down below. But so far, the Wednesday upload and the Sunday upload will definitely be coming at you. But I just don't know how I'm going to do the second upload. So I don't know if I should do it like on a Monday or a Saturday. I would love to know actually if for the second upload, rather than being on Friday, what would you prefer it to be on? Should it be on a Monday or should it be on Saturday morning? Something like that, I guess. Let me know in the comments down below or maybe I can do it like one week yes, one week no. Maybe it's like too much for now. So maybe I could do that. I mean, I don't have your shot at the minute, but yeah, I'm basically, you know, using this vlog as a therapeutic way to cope with my change because I don't handle change very well. <laughs> Luke tells me this, my therapist tells me this. <laughs> We are coping. We are basically learning how to cope every single day because that is how we experience our lives, basically. Some new changes are going to be coming on my channel because of this new change in routine. So I hope you still enjoy my content, basically. If you like this week's vlog, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Today is Saturday, as I was saying, and this morning I just had a dip in the pool and we just relaxed. And then I watched Love Island. I basically had a very lazy morning. I woke up at nine o'clock and I actually usually wake up at seven, even in the weekends, but the day I like woke up late. Yesterday was really nice because I met my course mates from Gestalt. We haven't seen each other since March, 2020. So it was really nice to meet everybody and see everybody face to face rather than online. Cause obviously we've been doing our course online, but it was so nice to just see them all physically present. And it was just so nice to catch up with them. They're all such lovely people and I love them to bits. Now it is nearly three o'clock and I'm going to Luke's around seven i think yeah we're go i'm going to luke's at seven but before that i kind of want to film some videos because i have the energy to do so so i said let me start the vlog now i also want to talk some book talk so i thought maybe we could do that so i kind of want to definitely curl my hair i feel like i need to do this especially with this dress this dress is actually from pretty little thing i absolutely love this just wanted to talk to you guys and catch up with you guys a little bit so we'll just do a bit of chit chat over here before i film my videos As you know i was reading beach read and i absolutely loved this book it's such a good story I have told you before it's about this girl called January she had a bit of like writer's block and she went to this house that was in another like town I think in England it's like based in England somewhere in England about exactly like the name of the place but it looks really really cool from how she described it it's like a small town as well very small town not like a busy city or something like that and basically this house was actually her father's and her father actually used to go there and what she knew was that he used to meet this other lady so he was kind of cheating on, his, on her mum. But anyways, and then the next door neighbour is Gus who is her like arch rival from like college and all so yeah there's like a whole story about that and you just basically see her go through the experience of finding her way to write again and yeah I think it's a really really good book. I absolutely love it. It's by Emily Henry and I absolutely just adore the book and it's I think a perfect read for summer. So I read that and now I'm reading this one. I'm reading The Road Trip by O'Leary. Yeah, Beth O'Leary. And so far we read this much. So not a lot but I've just started it and when I ordered it I didn't think I'd order the actual hardback of it. So yeah, 
to just be careful not to do that again i find these from zoella the website of zoella like she puts out like really good books and when i like read the expert excerpt expert i don't know how you say it and i like it actually just buy the book and yeah so i'm reading this anyone who's read this let me know in the comments down below so far all i know it's basically each chapter is about two different characters so it's about dylan and addy and basically it shifts from the past to the present which i absolutely love when books do that so yeah so far it's still i'm still like in the in the like starting of it all but i will definitely let you know how it actually goes because i am loving that i'm also including like some book talk in my vlogs i used to love books and i finally have time to actually read so I'm very very happy about that. I also got three other books which are new which I will definitely probably read first because then I got some books that I got from a book fair but I read those after because these are like the newer ones. So I got this one which is actually I got it from a charity shop and this one is called Love Me or Leave Me and it's by Claudia Carroll and yeah this probably will be the last one out of three that I will read but I just I don't know I like the expert of it and it looks really cool and interesting and yeah I just love these like lovey stuff so then i got this one by sarah morgan and it is the summer seekers so then i went on agenda bookshop and i basically looked at what is hot right now for the summer season to read and i just love seeing this one so i was like hmm we definitely need to get this one then and i got it so i will probably read this one probably after the road trip and i got this one by carol matthews which is also called sunny days and sea breeze and again this is a summer book read so i will definitely be reading this then after but yeah i just i don't know i just love smelling books oh my god there's smell of the books just ugh, it's just so nice just heaven basically that is not enough book talk okay so let's talk a bit about love island oh my goodness love my girlfriend the accent <laughs> just picks up on me sometimes you know i just like stay watching the show and i'm like oh i'm just picking up their accent i'm watching love island from uk and then love island from us but i feel like i know the uk one more like the US one, I don't know them a lot. Like I like, I think from the US one, I think right now I'm liking Will and I like Kira. I think those are my favorite couple if I have to choose. And then from the UK one, I think I will, I like Liberty and I like Jake. Them two are so sweet together. Toby, which I really like, and I kind of am, you know, curious to see how things go with Chloe. So I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I feel like, yeah, obviously they go there to find love. And so obviously they would need to step on some some, toe, some toes, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm talking like them. <laughs> but I just love watching them. I think ever since I had on Sterling, my colleagues, they actually inspired me to watch it. And then ever since then, I have continuously, like re religiously watched it. And I absolutely loved it every single year. We'll see, obviously now a new guy has gone in to the villa teddy so we'll see who he couples up with oh my god and i love hugo oh my god i love love hugo hugo is so sweet like i hope they just you know send someone that he you know he can go get along with i think he would be a really sweet boy anyways so that's my thoughts i don't know if you have if you're watching them and you'd like to comment down below please do oh i'm also watching bachelorette with katie oh i don't like the fact that blake went in I have a feeling i have a feeling that she will end up with blake i have this freaking feeling like i don't find it fair like especially on greg i love greg oh my god greg oh my goodness and like the the last episode the, like coming up that they showed oh my god it just includes so much crying emotions oh my god there's so so much so many things going on so i cannot wait to see obviously what's more to unfold anyway okay i i feel like i, I should have had like a coffee because you know i've been chatting for so long i actually need some water now because obviously i have to film a video i have two videos in my mind to film but they're not like sit down videos so i need to arrange my room i'm gonna curl my hair do my makeup and obviously start filming so i will talk to you guys later tonight all we're gonna do is i'm going to go to luke's and i'm gonna cook spaghetti ali olio i tried cooking it at home it wasn't a good thing um, so i'm gonna cook that and then maybe watch a film or something and then tomorrow we have a beach day in the morning and then obviously in the evening We'll be watching the game, the final of Italy versus England. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I know, like, okay, I want England to win, but I kind of want Italy. Like I loved Italy when I was young. We'll see. We'll see who will win. If my friends hear me that I'm saying, you know, they want England to win, they'll they'll, they'll like they like dislike my video. So 
Anyways, I will talk to you guys later and yeah, I hope you enjoyed obviously my chat. Bye guys. Blessing play bed in the daytime Goosebumps rise at night And settle back down at sunrise Today is Sunday and it is the, is the 11th, I think, or the 12th. Is it the 11th or the 12th? Well, I think it's the 11th, to be honest. I think so, yes. It's the 11th of July and I was supposed to vlog yesterday, I know, after I filmed the video, but I was so exhausted. Like, the video took so long to film and I only managed to film one video. So I, ha I have something else in mind, but I haven't filmed that. And I hopefully this week I'll finish, to f I'll manage to film it. I have like two days off as well. So I took some leave from work to rest up and so I'll definitely do it in like these two days for sure. So I'm going to end this week's vlog here. I mean today we went to the beach, we really enjoyed it. Yesterday we were watching Men in Black, the new movie. Well there was the woman in black. But I, I fell asleep guys, I fell asleep. I had some like really good pasta, it was really good. I lo I'm loving the ali olio that Luke is cooking and I just slept. And then this morning we met two friends of ours and we went to the beach and it was really nice and it was fun. It was really wavy like it was really like there was a lot like a lot of waves like it was like a wave pool to see but really enjoyed it so now i'm home and i think i'm just going to stay chilling and then tonight obviously it's just the finale the final of england versus italy we will see who will win but i just wanted to come and say goodbye i hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it was not much it was just me rambling on but i just hope you enjoyed my chat my chit chat nonetheless so yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you have had a lovely weekend and I wish you a good week ahead. And if you like this week's vlog, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I am going to go and I'll see you guys later. Bye!